the blood draw laboratory. I'm, I'm going to get my blood drawn. They're going to test for something called hypothyroidism. They're basically going to check my thyroid levels. I'm not entirely sure, but apparently I have a lot of the same symptoms that people with hypothyroidism do, such as being cold all the time, constantly constipated. That was a little TMI, sorry. Tired, even though I've gotten a lot of sleep. Um, mental slowness, which you can tell in some of these videos. I'm like, what is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Because I used to be really, you know, I, I could pick it up really quick. I could say stuff fast and I didn't have to think about it as much. And part of me thinks I'm just getting old, but part of me thinks I'm only 21, so I shouldn't be having these issues yet. So anyway, they're going to test me for that, but that means I have to get my blood drawn, and that sucks, And because I hate needles. So we're going to go, we're going to go torture ourselves. Cody's home alone. He's going to try to wash a load of laundry. Uh, we'll see how that goes. He's probably just going to use the washing machine. I don't think he's going to use the bucket system. I'm not sure that sheets would fit in the bucket system we currently have set up yet. We might need bigger buckets for that. Check out these super cool check-in systems. You don't even have to go up to the desk. That's awesome. Ugh, well thank goodness that's done. Oh, I hate needles. Look at that. Look at that. So sad. <laughs> anyway, that's done. Some folks from St. Vinny's might be coming today to get the appliances out of our garage and after that we're gonna go rock climbing hello, hello. where are you oh never mind I won't vlog that <laughs> I hear a laundry machine one's doing? Well, let's find out. That poor pepper plant barely surviving. But it is surviving. I mean, it's, it's got nice. leaves. That's incredible. This one looks like it's got some flowers coming on. Where? Right down there in the middle. Oh, look at that. Yay. That's good. I got some blueberries. They're starting to turn a little. Yeah, they're starting to turn a little bit. Then we finally ended up putting covers on these. And it's been working. Look at that. Oh my goodness. They like being covered a lot more than not being covered. Yeah. They really started growing again. I think these need trellis though. <clears throat> They're really starting to go. Yeah, that one. That one's not. That one's not, but it is growing new leaves. That's good. Did you miss me terribly? Terribly. Missed me a whole awful lot. Awful lot. <laughs> so are we gonna do a string trellis? Yeah, I think so. Because we're gonna have those cucumber plants again. On either side there? Yeah, once they get bigger. All right, folks, I've been wanting to do this since we moved in. We're gonna cut down these hideous, ugly bushes that block the entire bedroom window. Well, not the entire thing, but so much of it. We're only getting half the light we're supposed to. Cut it down, babe. Timber! <laughs> Sort of timber. 
Is it all just grown together? Bush number two. Both bushes down. Oh my gosh, that looks so much better. I don't want to show too much to the front of the house because, you know, privacy, but yay! So happy. Good job, babe! So the St. Vinny's people haven't showed up yet and it's not quite time for climbing, so I thought, why don't I try to make bread? We're low on bread, so I figured instead of going and buying some, I mean, shoot. If I want to be a homesteader, I need to know how to make bread. Unfortunately, the recipe is on my phone, and I'm using my phone to vlog, so you probably won't get to see me actually making the bread, but I'll show you the results. Well, that's my ball of dough. I guess we'll let that rise and come back in about an hour and a half. Oh dear, I'm a messy baker. All right, folks, take this out. Oh boy, that swelled up so nice and big. It rose, that's what it did, it rose. And we're going to divide that between these two pans and in just an hour or so, we're gonna have homemade fresh bread. Okay, so I looked at the recipe again and apparently you're supposed to smush it down again and let it rise again before you put it in the bread pan. Yay, look who's here! These are finally gonna be gone. even got a 20% off coupon. Sweet! Love those. Look at all this wonderful empty space. Oh my gosh. Oh, so much happiness. Bye St. Vinny's. You guys are awesome. Now that that's done. That's that's done. Now that that's done. Uh, get this garage door closed. Get ready to go climbing. Yeah. Cody already left without me because Emma got off work and the St. Vinny's guys still weren't here yet. So he went climbing and I am here and now I'm gonna go meet him. That was fun. It's time to go home and see if my bread hasn't exploded yet. I didn't vlog in there just cause Emma was there. She just doesn't wanna be on the vlog all the time. There's Cody. Say hi. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys at home. Oh no. Oh. All right, think we got enough? I think there's, uh, it'll, it'll collapse a lot. Oh my. Okay, it smushed down quite a bit. So we're gonna let this rise for another 20 minutes or so in the bread pans, then put it in the oven. <laughs> well, we just pulled these out, but they were supposed to be in for like another 15 minutes, so. We're going to test this. That sounds done. Looks done. That's, they said to tap it and if it sounded hollow, then it was done. Does that sound hollow to you? I don't know. What does hollow sound like? Yeah, it looks good. I mean, it's not coming out dirty. We have a weird oven. Yeah. You have to set it for at least 25 degrees lower than you're going for. Or more. Yeah. Maybe more. <laughs> Get a load of this sweet and sour rice pork It stir looks fry. so gross in the camera. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. It smells really good. Yeah. It, it looks delicious in real life, and it smells good, and I think it's gonna taste good. If we could capture the smell and make you guys smell it, your mouth would be watery. We're gonna go eat our dinner, and then come back to the bread and see if it's actually done. So I need sandwiches. <laughs> Update. Mm. It tastes good. This is incredible. The recipe for the sweet and sour sauce is out of a backpacking cookbook. And I just decided to try it. It's amazing. Yes. Yum. It's like four ingredients for the sweet and sour sauce. Maybe five. So apparently the oven was on too high because our oven is stupid and we don't know how what the temperature actually is. No idea. And uh, yeah, 
it didn't cook all the way. <laughs> it's all smooshy in the middle. So now this guy is without bread. Was it an interesting two days? I'm so sorry. He's taking all the leftovers instead, which he can't really complain about. No, I really can't, because this was really good. I just hope I'll be able to heat it up. Yeah. So there's that one out. And then this one I put back in upside down <laughs> to see if that helps. <laughs> bread fail. <laughs> well, I took the other one out and shush. I took the other one out and it looks good. Uh, it feels kind of heavy. <laughs> I'm thinking I didn't let it rise long enough. <laughs> kind of dense. So we'll let that cool and see how it turns out. I just went ahead and put the other one in upside down. Oh, that is so sad. I can't look. That is so sad. Hey, apparently putting it back in the oven mostly worked. I mean, it's still pretty dense, but it's better than the other one was before I put it in the oven. Yay! Not a complete fail. This is Cody's reaction to not having bread. <laughs> I'm so sorry, baby. We'll make it work. Well, it may have been kind of a bread loaf fail, but this is good. Good munching with butter. Mm-hmm. This is really good, guys. Mmm. They did good. Oh, yeah. Good each. Good each. Well, Cody just left for work, and I, 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 am going to go to the natural grocery store and get some henna. Henna, henna, henna. Some of you may have thought that this was natural. I wish. It's not box dye though, so that makes me feel a little better. Naturally, I'm blonde, and uh, it was actually a very beautiful blonde, but I was ready for a change, and so I told Cody I could either dye it or cut it. He chose dye it. But, as you might be able to see, my roots are coming in pretty good. They're ready for a touch-up. I'm technically actually growing it out. Um, but I didn't want to just grow it out all at once. So I'm slowly fading it, just reducing the concentration of henna every time I do it. So it's getting lighter and lighter, and eventually it'll go back to blonde. And I'll have a really interesting red blonde ombre which I'm kind of excited about. But anyway, it's been over a month since I've touched it up, so I'm gonna go to the store and get some more henna, and we're gonna do that. All right, guys, we are at Natural Grocers. I think Whole Foods has it too, but this place is cheaper. So this is my go-to place for henna, and I'm also gonna get some milk because Cody drank the last of it this morning. I guess I'm going to Whole Foods. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll try Whole Foods. See if they have my henna. Yes! Red. That's what I wanted. Yes, finally. Oh my gosh, you guys, you can just smell the natural in this place. <laughs> well, Whole Foods, you weren't my first choice, but you pulled through. You had my henna. A couple brownie points, you moved up on the scale. Alright you guys, well I think I'm gonna wrap it up for today's vlog. I will make a separate vlog if you guys want on how I do my henna. I know that's kind of a popular one. And yet I can never find enough. Oh my gosh, this lighting. And since I'm actually growing out my henna, I'll show you guys how I use the different concentration to, uh, sorry I'm trying to focus on driving. I'll use the different con concentration to get that kind of ombre look. But that's a topic for another vlog in another video, and I will do that later. So, ah, the stupid sunlight. So I will see you guys next time. Bye. Uh, like my husband says, it, does, it looks like horse poop and uh, I'll tell you, it kind of smells like it. It's got an alfalfa smell to it, because, I mean, it is a plant. <laughs>